U.S. Navy's $20 billion program to develop 12 Columbia-class submarines in financial trouble. Welcome to my YouTube channel and I am iBoot. If you want more videos subscribe my YouTube channel. The Congressional Budget Office, CBO, stated that its calculation for the program's new $120 billion estimate reflects current industry conditions in a report on Navy shipbuilding released on October 26. As per the Budget Office, the USS District of Columbia, the class's first submarine, will come with a $17.5 billion United States dollars price tag, exceeding the Navy's projections by $1.7 billion United States dollars. The CBO further notes that the 11 submarines following the lead ship would cost $9.2 billion United States dollars each, or $1.5 billion United States dollars more than the Navy had budgeted. Costs for the Columbia class submarines could, however, exceed both the Navy's and SIBO's estimates as it is slated to be the largest, most technologically complex submarine the United States has ever built it said. General Dynamics Corp. is building the submarines with Huntington Ingalls Industries, HII. These financial roadblocks come at a time when the Pentagon and the U.S. Navy have acknowledged the massive growth and expansion of China's shipbuilding industry and the swelling number of vessels in the Chinese fleet. As tensions continue to rise in the Indo-Pacific region with the possibility of a conflict never dismissed by officials. Currently, China has 370 boats, whereas the U.S. has 290. However, even though the PLA Navy has more vessels, it has widely been observed by analysts and officials that U.S. submarines are the most technologically advanced, and the U.S. Navy sailors are more skilled than their Chinese counterparts. Since 2014, Congress has provided shipbuilding with an average of $2.5 billion United States dollars extra annual funding than the Navy has sought. That's partially due to concern that the fleet isn't big enough to complete all of its tasks and, more recently, to stop China's Navy from growing. Although, the Navy's specific long-term objectives for its Navy are unclear CBO said, its plans will likely cost more than anticipated. Therefore, the Navy's requirement to replace its 14 Ohio-class SSBNs with 12 Columbia-class ships has been set for many years and remains unchanged, says the CBO assessment. According to Navy estimates, it will take at least seven years to build a lead Columbia-class submarine, meaning the first one will enter service in 2028. It would take another two or three years for the ship to undergo testing, training, and deployment preparation before it made its first deterrence patrol. It would take over seven years to develop and test each class's subsequent submarines. In the last two years, the U.S. Navy has found a way to add two to three years to the service lives of five Ohio-class submarines, meaning that the SSBN force would consist of 12 ships or more for all but three years between 2024 and 2028. The Navy's broad goal is to build a larger fleet whose firepower is greater and distributed among more platforms than in today's fleet emphasizes the CBO report. It further stresses the 2024 shipbuilding document that notes, multiple threat-informed analyses conducted by the Department of Defense, DOD, as well as external entities underscore the need for a larger, more capable Navy. It is noteworthy that the force goals for SSBNs, in contrast to those for other ship classes, are based on requirements derived from the number of submarines that Dodd's Strategic Command deems necessary to be on station, followed by the operational availability of those ships. Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.